Hey, beer tubers, Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog, and I am also looking at another fresh hop beer from The Shoots. This is their hop trip. This is a 5.4% pale ale they do with some wet hops. Uh, from what I gather, this is, oh, this is also part of their Bond Street series, and this last year came out in Bombers this year. They're doing 12 ounces of it, and from the website, they're using Horizon, Centennial, and Fresh Crystal Hop. So I guess it's not a completely fresh hop beer, if I go by that, but fresh hop being Crystal Hops, which I am not too familiar with. So, let's get this thing poured. I got most of it, most of it in the glass. It's a pretty hazy, um, it's kind of a darker orange, almost going to like a burnt orange color, about a finger and a half of off-white head, slight uh, yellow notes to it. Let's get the aroma on it. Yeah, the aroma on this one is fantastic. It, it has some like bright kind of orange notes to it. There's like a floor, definitely a floral character in there. I'm getting some notes, some pine notes in there as well. Touch of like earthiness, and then I, I could be wrong, but my take on this is there's some nice fruity esters coming out of it. It, it almost smells like a marmalade kind of uh, British style pale ale, which this is. Pretty much just a fresh hot pale ale, so to speak. So uh, let's dig in. Cheers. So bitterness wise, you get much more than you probably think for a 5.4% beer. I like the fact that they went for 5.4%, which makes it fairly sessionable. But when you're using wet hops, you have to use so many of them because they're undried and you still want to get the same amount of bittering out of, say, dried hops. So, I mean, you have to use a lot, a lot of hops, so it makes sense to kind of lower that ABV down, get that malt kind of character sweetness down so that the hops kind of come forward. And they do a really good job with this beer. Up front, that bitterness, then there's a lot of fruitiness midway and it finishes really nice and dry. Yeah, up front, sort of this sort of piney, uh, bitter grapefruit, definitely like an earthiness. I don't know if any of that horizon shines through, but I hear that can be sort of a really kind of like oniony, garlicky kind of uh, hot variety. And then Centennial is going to add some nice, you know, grapefruit, citrus sort of peach notes in there. And then Crystal, I'm not too familiar with. Um, I want to say it's sort of more uh, orangey, citrusy with like a floral component, but uh, you know, I, I'm really not familiar with that one. It's definitely one of the sea hops, so I'm thinking, well, maybe still getting some of those other sea hop notes to it. Really refreshing beer. Nice medium light mouthfeel. Yeah, just really just nice bitterness. You know, it sort of follows that nose with all those characters. And then they, they, they must be using some kind of, I don't know if it's their house yeast, but getting a little kind of uh, light stone fruit kind of marmalade kind of yeast ester backed up by some nice biscuit mold on the back end. Yeah, a little more resiny character in some sips. That kind of wet sort of grassy note you get the wet hops is definitely in this beer. So I mean, I really enjoy this one. This is a really nice wet hop beer. One of the better ones I've had this season, although I haven't had too many. Just I don't know, last year was just not very good for uh, wet hop beers. And I don't even think I tried this one last year, the hop trip. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to give this thing, I don't know. I really, really enjoy this one. It's like a pale ale, fresh hop pale ale. I think it's excellent. It's, it's really, it's really nice. Uh, overall, though, I'm going to probably, I'm going to go A- minus on this one. You know, it could be maybe slightly more complex or whatever for like just a top-notch pale ale, fresh hop beer. But usually they're not very complex beers. And this one has a lot of good flavors going for it. Some nice crisp bitterness. 
really easy to drink, and I like the ABV on it. So I'll go A minus for Deschutes' Hop Trip. Um, very cool label on there. Nice artwork. Uh, that's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.